so we're talking about a test today um the test is simply that um you need to study for your test how do you study for your test there's preparation that is involved there's lots of preparation you must read the material you must um, take the time to actually uh, to actually go over the material to make sure that you have retained the information that you studied um, you also must in preparing for a, for a test for an exam you must um, have some adequate rest time um, you do need to rest you do need to rest your mind rest your thinking um, and then that way when you come to the actual test you won't grow weary you will not grow weary while the test is um, is being given you'll be able to read the instructions you won't feel groggy you won't feel sleepy so in order for you to pass the test there's many different steps that you must you know go through like i said preparation you know you definitely have to prepare you definitely need to um study the material you need to get appropriate rest you need to ask for help you need to ask questions um while you are um reading the information and studying the information you do want to make sure that you understand the information that you're reading um, you must make sure that everything that you read is <clears throat> going to, you know, that, you, that you're understanding, that you're retaining it, and that you're not just rote memorization, you know, studying because this is life. This is life. So you must um, be ready at a moment's notice for the test because the test will come. Um there's also pop quizzes along the way so even when the pop quizzes come you still have to be ready you must be ready at all times to um to give an answer because if you fail the pop quizzes in life that that will cause a significant problem that will cause a significant problem in your walk with the Lord um, in you fulfilling and doing the will of God you will have pop quizzes and sometimes you know we pass them sometimes we don't but the point is, is that you don't want to let that deter you and let it um, put you off on continuing to study you still don't want to give up you don't want to give up you don't want to to throw in the towel because this seems too difficult because um, what you originally um, thought it was seems too hard for you now because um, the other things in life have caused um have caused you to to feel you know that you can't make it um instead of feeling that way what you should do is continue to study all the more go back over the material again especially if you didn't pass the first test go back go back to the original material study again the material doesn't really change it, it gets a little more difficult as time goes on. It gets more difficult because you have to, to in order for you not to be distracted. That's the other problem. That's the other thing um, that you do want to remember in taking a test is that there will be distractions when you're studying. There will be plenty of distractions, but you do have to remember that you are still able to complete um, the test. You are still able to complete your preparation time because that's just sent to to cause you to falter. But you don't want to falter. Instead, you're going to stand strong 
and you're going to stand on his word and you are going to pass the test. So be encouraged.